Hi all, today we are going to solve easily doable questions from trigonometric equation ratios and ITF. And in different shifts of April 2024 attempt, we have 10 questions from these three topics out of which by our easily doable which we are going to solve. So now let's start from our first question. Here is our first question. Now, now this question says that the number of solutions of this equation where we have our x between minus pi to pi is. So, so first I can see, I can write this equation as sin square x, sin square x. Now, I will write this bracket as minus of x minus 1 whole square minus 3 sin x sin x minus 3 minus 3 x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So, so from here our roots sin x so our roots are our sin x is equal to from this equation will be minus 3 comma x minus 1 whole square now sin x will never be minus 3 so this is rejected and sin x can be x minus 1 square so this is accepted so to solve the equation sin x is equal to x minus 1 whole square. First of all we will plot the graphs. So this will be our graph of sin x from minus pi to pi will be of this type. Wait a minute. 0 to pi to minus pi. This point will be minus pi and this point is pi. Now our graph of x minus 1 whole square will be let's say here we have our point 1 graph of x minus 1 whole square will be of this thing. So so from here from here we can clearly see that these two graphs has two intersection points two intersection points. So from here the number of solutions of this equation will be equal to 2. Sorry. 2. And here is the solution page and you can see that our answer is correct. Here is the next question now. Now in this question first our question says that if our sin x is equal to minus 3 upon 5 and here is our range of x, then we have to find the value of this expression. Now, now first my sin of x is equal to minus 3 upon 5. My x lies in the third quadrant. So from here our cos x because our x lies in the third quadrant our cos x will be minus under root of 1 minus sin x whole square. So sin x whole square will be 9 upon 25. So this is equal to minus 4 upon 5. So from here our tan x now, in third quadrant, our tan x is positive. So, our tan x, which is equal to sin x upon cos x, will be 3 upon 4. Now, let's find the ask expression. 80, 80 tan square x minus tan square x minus cos x. Now, this is equal to 80 multiplied by 9 upon 16 minus 4 upon 5. 
So from n we will get um, this is plus four upon three. From n we will get eighty multiplied by upon eighty and forty five. Forty five plus sixty four. So this is equal to one zero nine. One zero nine. So this is equal to one zero nine. So our option B is correct. And here is the solution, and you can see that our answer is correct. This is our next question now. Now in this question, I have the question for this first. The value of this expression is this expression where a comma b comma c are natural numbers, and GCD of a comma c is equal to one. Then a plus b plus c is equal to. Now here first. First, I will write my cos cos thirty six degree. Now, cos thirty six degree is root five plus one upon four, and my sine sine eighteen degree is equal to root five minus one upon four. Now, I will put the values of cos thirty six degree and sine eighteen degree in this expression. So our expression three cos three cos thirty six degree plus five sine eighteen degree upon five cos thirty six degree minus three sine eighteen degree. Now this is equal to three cos thirty six. Now in this fraction, I will cancel all the denominator four, so I will be left by three root five plus three plus five root five minus five upon five root five five root five plus five. Minus three root five minus three root five plus three. So this is equal to eight root five, eight root five minus two upon two root five plus eight. So this is equal to root five. So four. Four root five. I am dividing both numerator and denominator by two. This will be four root five minus one upon root five. Root five plus four. Now I will rationalize this fraction. I will multiply both numerator denominator by under root five minus four upon. Under root of five minus four, so this is equal to our numerator will be twenty twenty minus root five twenty minus root five minus sixteen root five minus sixteen root five plus four upon Now this is divided by. Now I will multiply the denominator. This will be five minus sixteen. So from here this is equal to um, five minus sixteen will be uh, minus eleven. I will take minus in the numerator. So denominator is eleven. Numerator will be minus seventeen root five, which will be. Seventeen root five and plus twenty four. This will be minus twenty four. So when we will compare this expression, this expression and the uh, and the expression given in the question, 
we can say that our a is equal to 17 our b is equal to 24 and c is equal to 11 so from here our a plus b plus c is equal to um, 52 so our option b option b is correct and here is the solution page and you can see that our answer is correct here is the next question now now this question says that let the inverse trigonometric function take principal values then the number of real solutions of this inverse trigonometric function of this equation so <coughs> now in this equation first i can write this equation as uh, 2 sin inverse x plus cos inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to 2 pi upon 5 so from here our cos inverse x is equal to 2 pi upon 5 minus now sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi upon 2 2 2 will get cancelled this will be pi so minus of pi so from here this is equal to um, minus 3 pi by 5 but our cos x cos x cos inverse x belongs to 0 to pi and in 0 to pi minus 3 pi upon 5 doesn't come so this means that minus 3 pi upon 5 doesn't come in the range of cos inverse x so from here I can see say that x has no possible values so our answer is equal to 0 0 and here is the solution and you can see that our answer is correct here is the next question now now this question says that the integral here we have uh, our integral is equal to now now in this integral i can write this cot inverse as tan inverse under root of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x. Now let's focus at the integral. Our integral of 1 upon 4 to 3 upon 4. 3 upon 4. Now here I can see that this is cos 2 multiplied by an angle. So I can write it as 1 minus tan 1 minus tan of tan inverse under root of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x whole square divided by 1 plus tan tan inverse under root of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x whole square dx so from here this will be integral of 1 upon 4 to 3 upon 4 1 minus now this term will be 1 plus x upon 1 minus x similarly on the denominator 1 plus 1 plus x upon 1 minus x dx so from here this is equal to Integral of 1 upon 4 to 3 upon 4. 3 upon 4. Of this will be um, minus 2x upon 2dx. So from here this will be equal to minus of x square upon 2 from 1 upon 4 to 3 upon 4. So this is equal.
equal to minus equal to minus of um, 9 upon 32 minus 1 upon 32 so this is equal to minus of 8 upon 32 which is minus of 1 upon 4 so our answer is option C and here is the solution and you can see that our answer is correct and here are the remaining questions which are ranked easy but lengthy, moderate and difficult and here is the answer sheet to the 5 unsolved questions and here are the links to the video solutions to all 130 easy questions of Jan 2024 attempt. So hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.